All right, we got some Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit versus 64-bit benchmarks. Thanks to Fenarix for running these benchmarks. We have a 32-bit version versus a 64-bit version. This is the same processor, very similar motherboards, same chipsets, memory, disk space, graphics, only using different types of operating systems, a 32-bit Raspbian 11, and the 64-bit Raspbian 11, now known as Debian 11. We talked about this in the previous video, but let's get into this because I'm excited to check what kind of gains we get in performance. Now we'll review this data at the very end, but let's talk about what's being ran here. It's a bunch of compilations and we have flags for both the 32-bit as far as compiler goes and 64-bit. It tells us what kernel is running and what processor details Python details, and some security details here at the bottom. You can check this out at openbenchmarking.org. I'll put a link in the description below. Let's get excited. Doesn't make a huge difference. We predicted that there wasn't gonna be a massive difference, but there's gonna be some difference using a 64-bit versus a 32-bit operating system. And let's start from the bottom up. Basically what we're looking at is the test that was ran on the left-hand side and the difference of improvement in either the 32-bit or the 64-bit side. If it's on the right-hand side, you'll notice that it is an improvement in the 64-bit side. So how much better it is than the 32-bit with architecture and operating system running. So we'll notice pretty much across the board here, the 64-bit is at least a little bit better running all these different types of compilations and tests on the left-hand side. So we got things like semaphores, quality of image encoding, compressions, seven cent percent better. We keep moving up, converting audio encodings, about 17.4% better here using the FLAC audio encoding. We keep moving up, here we go, Google Draco, 30.3% better for 64-bit, but we're about to get into crazy territory. Let's talk about Stress NG Crypto, 86.5% better by just using the 64-bit operating system. We'll talk about why this is because it kind of makes sense. But what I want to review is the average here is about 30% when you really go and put everything together from all these various different compilations and tests. Keep in mind, it's an average of 30%, which is what most people were actually predicting. Going upwards, here's where it gets insane. The sysbench on the CPU is up by 1,300 and almost 80%, which means 13 times better. That is an insane amount. But then some of the other stuff from stress testing and system bench, as far as memory goes, that's up around 1.9 times or 196%. Vector math, 231%. The RAM memory, 280. And the ETC pack in between 300 and 400%. Quite amazing what a simple change in operating systems has made. Now, why is this? Well, for the most part, using the 64-bit OS with newer architecture, allows you to take advantages of some of the 64-bit instruction sets, which are more efficient. So we would predict that some very special cases would in fact get up to this insane level of performance boost. But overall, the system remains pretty much the same. And these comparisons here with the various tests are very specific. Again, when you look overall, it's about a 30% improvement, but that doesn't mean it's great in every way because there are currently some downfalls to going over to 64-bit using the Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit version of the operating system, such as not being able to use Netflix or Disney Plus if you want to use some of those streaming services. But pretty much across the board, if we look here, if it's in green, it means it won out and we can see this column of 64-bit, it pretty much won out in every single portion except the compression XZ which is compressing an image at a certain level. The 32-bit version got that done just a little bit quicker, which is interesting, but it got it done in a 381 seconds as opposed to 385 on the 64-bit version. Of course, that could have been a fluke, who knows, but I would think they'd be just about the same for that test. So you really have to pick and choose these tests based on what you do with your computer. I mean, if you're doing a bunch of compilation and it or encoding, yes, it might make sense to go over straight to the 64-bit version right away. That way you can see these gains, but you have to be careful with some of these gains. Let's say you had something that took a second on one system and five seconds on another. Well, that's a 500% improvement. Although 
taking that much time isn't really too big of a deal for most people whenever other applications don't even work on the other system. So make sure to look into this. It is quite exciting that we got the 64-bit version of Raspberry Pi OS on the 11th release, and it's going to help us future-proof for applications that require us to use a 64-bit with architecture. So are you excited for these results? What do you think about this? I just wanted to review this a little bit. Check it out. It's exciting that we're already getting some kind of results from benchmarks in similar environments by just using different operating systems. It's always exciting to kind of see how minor changes make a difference. If you made it this far, smash that like button, subscribe below because you like the talk, and that's about it. I'll catch you in another video.